I'm going to give you the definition of boundaries, and I'm taking this straight from Dr. Henry Cloud. If you don't know who he is, I encourage you to look him up on YouTube or somewhere. The work he's done in boundaries is, is amazing, and um, I really like his stuff. And, and what he says is, and I'm, I'm generalizing this and making it super simple, but basically a boundary is like a, a, a line that shows where we end and another person begins, meaning that um, what's inside of this line, what's inside of our boundary is our responsibility. And likewise, another person's boundaries, what's inside of their boundaries is their responsibility. And a lot of things live inside of our boundaries. Um, how we think, how we feel, the decisions we make, things like that, um, all go inside of our own boundaries. So setting these types of boundaries in our marriage is important to understand what we are responsible for and what other people are responsible for. And it's also a protective mechanism, especially after an affair. There are specific um, types of boundaries that need to be put in place for our emotional and physical and mental safety um, as we heal to give us the appropriate space to do that. Um, and also our spouse sets boundaries as well. This is not just for us, for the wounded wife, if you will, it's for all of us. So now that we have an understanding of what that is, I want to tell you what it's not. Boundaries are not meant to control other people. I'm going to say that again. We don't set boundaries to control other people. Boundaries are about us, not about other people. And in the case of recovering after an affair, boundaries are also not intended to punish another person. In other words, our spouse. We don't set boundaries to harm or hurt or punish our spouse. Again, they're about us. They're about our safety, our healing, our own responsibilities. So we're going to go uh, in a few other sessions I'm going to do, I'm going to look at very specific types of boundaries. There's physical boundaries, there's mental boundaries, there's emotional boundaries, there's uh, people, places, and things types of boundaries. There are different types of boundaries out there that need um, to be placed, especially during our healing process. And I want to make sure we're all on the same page about that as we start setting our boundaries because we don't want to do something thinking that, oh, okay, now if I set these boundaries and parameters, if you will, or rules, or, or we mistake boundaries for like, you know, rules that we can control our spouse and keep them from having another affair. That is not what boundaries are about. So I hope you'll tune in to my other videos. Look up Dr. Henry Cloud. He has a, a website called boundaries.me. If boundaries are something that you struggle with, um, and you'll know if you struggle with boundaries, um, perhaps you've um, set a boundary, uh, maybe you've separated and you've told him he can't stay the night, and yet you keep letting him stay the night. And you set that boundary not to punish him, but because you needed space to heal, well, you're not holding your own boundary there. So if you find yourself struggling with that, okay, maybe you don't have strong boundaries. You know, so we'll talk about that, uh, very specific types of boundaries we need to set in other videos. But look that up. Google boundaries. Go out there. Look, look for some good information. Again, Dr. Henry Cloud is phenomenal. Um, and is a great resource for that. And we'll talk about in other videos, very specific boundaries, but remember what they are and what they are not. <laughs> they are about our healing guys, uh, us. It's about how we protect ourselves, how we determine, um, you know, what we are responsible for. Okay. And a lot of things live inside of our boundaries, our emotions, our physical self, our thoughts, our own decisions, all of that lives in our boundary. So those are the things we're working with. It's not about setting parameters to punish and or control our spouse. So with that being said, start thinking about the things in your own life. What's going on with you right now? Where you feel weak? A good indicator of this, if you start to feel resentful, 
If you start to feel resentful towards somebody, you don't have a good solid boundary with them. And I'll give you an example. Um, I'm pretty protective over my day off. I have, you know, one day a week because I work Sundays as a pastor and I have one day a week that my whole family could do things together and that's Saturdays. And I try really hard to protect that time so because that's when my husband's off, I'm off, the kids were home. And, um, you know, I would find myself, you know, I have a hard time saying no, and that's a boundary issue. So when someone would ask me if I could help or do something on a Saturday that really I didn't have to do, it, it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a work issue. It was just somebody asked me to do something. And my gut instinct was to say, no, thank you. That's, that's a day with my family. But instead I went ahead and said, okay. I resented that person. I had a horrible day. I didn't like what I was doing. I had a bad attitude. That's the indication that you were not having healthy boundaries. I knew the moment, any time that happened, I was like, I did not hold my own boundary. So we have boundaries around our time. We have boundaries around, you know, how we think about things, all that kind of stuff. And to protect ourselves and to be happy and fulfilled and doing the things in life we want to do, it's very important to set these. So I really hope you'll take the time to watch the other videos in this series talking about the different types of boundaries we need to set and then set them. And it takes practice. If you fall off the wagon, <laughs> you set the, you set the boundary and then you're not really, really awesome at keeping it. That's okay. That's all right. It takes time to do that. Again, if you are a person who has a hard time saying no, you're going to struggle with boundaries a little bit. You know, if you are a person who's a people pleaser, because you want everybody around you to like you and be happy with you and, and your actions, you're going to struggle with boundaries. It's just a natural thing, but they're so important. Y'all, I promise you will be uh, blessed by it. So stay, make sure you stay tuned, watch these other videos in this series. I'm going to try to probably post them all at one time. So they'll all be available and you can just go and watch each of them at one time. Now, if you like the information I've been providing you in, in this video and the other ones on this channel, I invite you to subscribe. Every time I post something new, you'll, you'll see it and uh, you'll be able to check it out. Also below uh, in the description of this video, I have um, two really great free resources for you. One is a free guide. The other one's a video that's just full of really great advice um, for all of us going through a fair recovery. And then I have um, a really awesome private Facebook group, and it's just for wives who are going through exactly what we're going through. So uh, I invite you to join the Facebook group, check out the free materials, go ahead and start doing some investigative work on your own about boundaries. Check out my other videos on boundaries as well.